Bonnie Schreiber has seen fires in Zintel Canyon before. Her first thought, let everyone inside know and water the backyard. Just spraying as much as I could. Next thing you know, I just feel the heat. I toss the hose and I say evacuate, like just grab things and go, grab the necessities and go. As many times as I've gone through these, I knew like this was the time. Bonnie and her boyfriend Michael made sure their three-year-old son was safe as a firefighter warned everyone on 8th place to get out. She grabbed a basket of clothes, grabbed my son, and just ran upstairs and didn't come back in. Like, Bonnie says the next thing they saw was this. The wind was blowing so quickly, it headed straight for our house. There was it, it was avoiding everywhere else. It headed straight here. And the Kennewick Fire Department said a level three evacuation was issued for around two dozen homes in the area. The house Bonnie lived in, a rental, was the only one that caught fire. We just didn't have a lot of time to grab a lot of things that I wish I could have grabbed. Bonnie and Michael say they're just glad everyone worked. got out unscathed. Still, it's a heartbreak on top of another tragedy that happened just two weeks ago when the couple say they lost their newborn son, Bennett. My water actually broke at 15 weeks and six days gestation, and I carried him all the way up until 25 weeks and two days, and he was born on May 9th. He stuck with us for an hour and 45 minutes and passed away the same day. It's been very difficult. Um, especially having one and watching all these memories or like watching other babies. A GoFundMe originally started for Bennett's memorial costs will now also help this family recover from losing their home. Somehow, some way, this couple is just grateful to have their lives and each other. And I'm, like, so right? thankful. Thankful. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful.